Aloha, welcome to episode 15 of the Weekly Wellness Show. And uh, today we're going to talk about where is it safe to go? Like, where is it safe to go to maybe in your local area to get a bite to eat, uh, go enjoy yourself? Uh, I guess the, the question is, is it safe to go out and enjoy life again? And, and quite honestly, the answer to me is yes. I, I truly believe that. Uh, we have places here, and especially I'm in the San Francisco Bay Area, right, of San Mateo County. And the one thing I'm hearing from my patients and everything else is like, Lake Tahoe, I don't think they ever shut down, <laughs> okay? But they're open. Uh, they got restaurants open. People are going there and saying that, hey, we're having a good old time here. We're at, we're eating at restaurants. Uh, we're not, barely anyone is wearing a mask. Uh, it, you know, and like I said, at that elevation, maybe Corona doesn't affect things that high up or, or what have you, but I'm not making that as an excuse. But the thing is, what we're finding out, you know, there are places that have been open that never really shut down. So I know one thing that just opened around here, we're actually gonna go explore that today, is we're gonna go down to Santa Cruz, California, and you know, hang out at the beach, the beach towns, walk around, see what kind of businesses we can support, see what kind of things we could see again, just get out of the area. All right, just have a good old time today. It's kind of like our date day. So we're going to spend half the day down there and see what is possible. Another big thing we're starting to see too are people, you know, boat sales have gone up, right? Because, you know, people want to go on a lake or they want to, you know, they want to do something fun. Houseboat season is here and I don't think there's been any restrictions on that. Uh, and so, because the biggest thing that people are afraid of is if they travel anywhere by plane outside of the continental U.S., they might be quarantined, okay? Um, Another area I'm hearing that's been a lot of fun recently to go visit and also very hot has been Arizona, uh, you know, Scottsdale in particular. I think just about everything there is open uh, except for a movie theater. And I think that's bound to happen probably the next, uh, you know, day or so. But, uh, you know, life is pretty much going back to normal uh, there. I know Las Vegas just opened up. And, and from what I'm hearing, um, you know, use your discretion going to Las Vegas, obviously. You know, you are going into environments where people smoke. They haven't banned smoking yet. You know, they are, you know, trying to have people, you know, do things within social distancing. And the last I've heard is everyone's breaking the rules anyway. So it just depends if you want to go, if you want to go there or not. But still, you know, it's, uh, you know, part of this is we, we all got to get back to some kind of normalcy again uh, without, you know, uh, jeopardizing or putting other people in danger. Um, I honestly believe that, you know, we just can't avoid things forever. Uh, we have to live our lives. We can't live life in a mask. We have to you know, start exposing ourselves to things again, okay? You know, one is germs. You know, the, remember our immune system thrives and lives by being exposed to bacteria and virus. I mean, that's how we have it. You know, we can't live this life of saying we need a vaccine for every little thing that we're gonna be exposed to, all right? Well, look at the flu vaccine. Uh, how well has that helped, okay? I mean, you could argue, you know, pros and cons about it, but the flu still comes every year. People still get sick every year but we, we deal with it, okay, that's how it is. And I really think that with the coronavirus, uh, COVID-19 in particular, you know, we're, we're doing everything we can to prevent it. And one of the best ways to do that well, is to take better care of yourself, plain and simple. Just, you know, look at, you know, look at the, what kind of foundation are you living in, leaving in your body? You know, what are you eating? What are you drinking? Are you smoking? I mean, are you a target for the coronavirus? And one of the biggest things I always tell people, you know, as we go out and eat and venture again is, I think a lot of us are going to be saying, okay, whatever restaurant we go to, which one, you know, is really serving, you know, high quality food uh, and which ones aren't. Because if I'm going to, and I've always believed this, if there's any one thing I hate doing is paying for a bad meal. I don't care if it's fast food. The fact that if I'm paying for something, it better be good. Okay. That's, that's just, I learned that from someone who uh, is from New Orleans and they know what good cooking and what good food is all about. But once they said that, I said, you know, I, I take it personally if I have ever served a bad dish because I paid for that. Otherwise, I would have just cooked at home, you know? So things like that. So, you know, I think the public's also going to be more leery of, hey, where are we going to spend our hard-earned dollars right now? Because, you know, this is money we haven't spent in a while on on food or dining out and things like that. So we want to make sure that whatever we're spending on, it's going to be worth every buck and value that we have. And also too, we do that too for the social aspect of it, to have dinner with friends again, and, you know, enjoy being with each other and, you know, just coming back to some quote unquote normalcy. So anyways, so that's, you know, areas like the, you know, your, your warm states. So even Texas, I hear Texas has been, well, Texas is Texas, right? <laughs> I mean, they, they kind of do things on their own, but they've been doing just fine. Um, you know, in Florida, 
Florida is doing great, from what I understand. I mean, they're they're all they're open. I mean, they're out there. They're may, minor restrictions, maybe in the restaurants, but I mean, if you want to go visit somewhere I mean, and get some nice warm weather and hanging out at a beach, yeah, they're doing it. So, and I believe also in Southern California, where we're talking about like LA, things like that. Uh, you know, their beaches have opened up as well, and restaurants and things like that are starting to open as uh, too. Uh, in this middle of uh, well, let's say today is uh, June 11th. You know, during this time, so. A lot of things are happening. A lot of things are just taking place. We're trying to just get out of the house. I mean, I gotta tell you, I can't wait till I can go to a restaurant again and have some time with some friends and fam- or family members just to enjoy a meal outside rather than doing curbside or takeout and then have to deal with at home. I mean, I'm looking forward to having that done again, but it is amazing how well I've, I've adapted to takeout and curbside, okay? There, there's definitely something to be said about that too. Anyways, so, I think a matter of if you're going to be going out and you're going to want to enjoy life again, you really got to look at, okay, where are we going? You know, uh, where do we feel comfortable going? Let's go enjoy that. You know, just get the experience for yourself because I honestly believe it's time to get out of the house. It's time to get some sunshine. And right now here in the bear, we get some beautiful weather. Let's get some vitamin D, which is what we all need for our immune system, right? Uh, it also is a mood elevator, okay? So, you know, we want to just get out of this mold. You know, this is another way to release the rage a little bit. It's just get out, you know, get away from the computer, you know, do something spontaneous, do something that you thought, you know, even though I'm supposed to be working today doing something, screw it. I'm going, I'm out today. I'm, I've had enough. I need to go out, see some water, you know, you know, maybe put my feet in the sand and just whatever. I mean, just enjoy ourselves. That's what we're supposed to do. So that's my intention today. Uh, plus I, I kind of surprised my wife that said, Hey, let's go to the beach. Let's go to a beach town and walk around and, and just smell that, that fresh ocean air and, uh, you know, feel human again, rather than just being indoors cramped and living the hustle and bustle of the Bay area and, and also owning a business too. So everyone has their own way of doing things, but I'm taking advantage of this right now, uh, to see what's possible and to see what else we can do. Uh, other places I think that are, uh, starting to open up, especially Hawaii. I want to say the beaches are finally open. I don't, but I still think they're quarantined. Uh, structures or measures are still in place, so wouldn't advise flying to Hawaii right now unless you're gonna plan on spending some significant time there, like over two weeks. Uh, I don't think the hotels are open just yet, nor the restaurants. So we're gonna explore Hawaii probably in uh, either September or December. Um, December is a beautiful time to go there, uh, especially in the early part of December. It's 80 degrees. All the Christmas decorations are up. It's beautiful. It's a, it's a, and it's not too expensive either. You know, and also all the kids are still in school, so it's an ideal time to travel. If uh, you know, if you don't have any kids, or if that's not an issue for you, so it's an, another great time. And uh, the sun's not as powerful uh, where you're going to get severely sunburned too, but the water's still beautiful and warm. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing. And then you got places like beautiful Colorado, you know, a lot of good hiking trails. I think we're going to visit Sedona and see what that's all about. So we could uh, check out the beauty there, even though there is no beach, but which is what I prefer. But I really want to see and experience other places outside the outside of California here. Um, so I could have my own experience and, and, and share with you guys. So part of this weekly wellness episode is to get out of the house, get out. You know, whether you're going somewhere an hour away from the home, just get out, see how other people are doing things, get the, you know, do things safely, all right, uh, and just enjoy life again. Start doing that. I mean, that's what we deserve. Start communicating with people, start saying hi, you're welcome, thank you, and open the door for someone without worrying about getting freaking corona, okay? You know, it's just, these are all these common things that as humans we can forget very easily, but at the same time, show your empathy, show your compassion for other people as well. And bottom line is, let's just be respectful and, and just get into their world of what's happening. Uh, like I said, it's been a crazy two weeks and uh, we're just, you know, living our lives the way we can so we can help others, you know, get through this as well. Uh, on our next episode, we're going to be talking about, you know, things about weight loss uh, or, you know, about weight management, you know, and talking about, hey, did you, did you gain, you know, even though we're going through COVID-19, but you want to get rid of the COVID-19 pounds you just put on. So we're going to discuss more about that and uh, also share with you some things that are definitely do it yourself so you don't have to go to the office you can do things remotely all these things are happening now because of what we just went through in the last three months so times are changing and but you could still be efficient be effective uh, and live your life powerfully all right and uh, enjoy yourself at the same time so that's kind of what we need to do so 
if you enjoyed this episode and, and this insight, please, you know, just so I know you're live, click subscribe uh, or subscribe right there. Uh, and just so I know that you're well, please click that bell. And uh, we look forward to being of service to you next week. All right. Have a good one. And mahalo.